Hey guys, on my quest to find necromancy and sorcery mods for Conan Exiles, I'm going to be looking at two mods today. The first one is called AG Mods 02 Magical Frals by R. Scoffica. The second mod is called Better Frals Pick Up and More Followers by Testery. Now, this first mod, AG Mods Magical Frals, gives you two new feats. Um, the feats are called Necromancy and Serpent Legacy. The Necromancy feat allows you to construct a corpse preparation altar and a zombie cage. And with this, you're able to create all kinds of undead frows. Here's the lineup. You've got the Archer, the, the Warrior, then you've got the Kappa, which is like an undead shell back, basically. You've got an undead hyena. And you've got a small undead dragon. How you make these is you first build um, this necromancy altar, corpse preparation altar. And with it, you've got these recipes and you need different ingredients for each of these minions. And they kind of make sense. For a zombie archer, you need human flesh, demon blood, bones, and putrid meat. And for the more bestial ones, you need various animal parts like this skeletal serpent man head. Once you build the body of the creature, like this, you then have to take it to the zombie cage, which is this guy here. And you can see the mod has made some nice um, custom meshes or whatever for this. You put the body in there, and from that you get the frowl item, which you can then place like this. That's pretty much how it works. For the reptilian side of things, there's a separate feat for that. It's called Serpent Legacy. And similarly, you have to make two structures. You've got the reptilian egg transmutator and the reptilian incubator. And basically what you do is with the egg transmutator, you need again various ingredients, demon blood, abysmal fangs, abysmal flesh and whatever. You can craft an egg, a transmuted egg, which will give you an egg item. You take that and you put it in the reptilian incubator. And then you get the frowl item. In this case, it's a serpent brute. Very nice. I'll show you the full lineup of the reptilians so you can see all the different kinds you can make. You've got this little guy. He's a cobra. You've got the one we just made, which is the serpent brute. You've got a very large snake called the giant snake. You've got the abysmal, which is a very interesting looking reptile. And you've got the dragon miner. So these are honestly awesome additions to the Thralls in Conan Exiles. I really like the undead adds. I also really like these reptiles, it's super cool. That's basically the AG mods covered. The other mod I'm testing right now is the Better Frowls mod. And what that does is it lets you have more frowls following you. And it also lets you pick up frowls and put them down. I'm not sure if it will work. Oh yeah, this would be it, yeah. This is the Better Frowls edition. So we can say, instead of the usual one limit, we should be able to get more than one of these frowls following us. So we can effectively have an army following us now. 
and I'll have to check later on, but I believe the default is five, so a limit of five thralls slowing you, but you can raise this. I'll have to double check that and I'll put text down at the bottom of the screen or whatever to show whether that's correct or false, but you should be able to get more than five. I double checked this and you can indeed change the max follower count. You have to do it using the command line and here's the uh, developer's post about it. So basically you open up the console using insert then you need to type in this little string here and provide a new integer to raise the, the max amount of followers. In any case, this is a huge, huge improvement over the base game which only allows you to have one follower following you at any time. Now we should test these minions out. I don't know what kind of major skilled saboteur put this heinous, most despicable sign here. Most distressing. Much better. Can't have those lies scrawled near the base like that. So I then went on to test the minions out against different types of enemies. They all performed really well. I tried giving the skeletons better weaponry, but they didn't choose to use it. Even using those burn clubs though, they seem to do very well for themselves. The quality of these mods feels really good. The better Frau's mod is what Konex Sars has needed from the very beginning because the single Frau follower limit in the base game is just terrible. I really love how the modder has provided a way for you to tweak the follower limit further, so you could have any number of Frau's following you at any time. I'm not sure what limit I'll set up for my server, but something like 20 seems to be a good amount. I can have a proper army following me then. The undead minions that Magical Frau's adds are really awesome, but so are these reptile ones. I really love the animation and the big snakes in Conan Exiles. It looks great, and the author of Magical Frows has also said that they're looking to add even more minions than just these, so I'm really looking forward to what's coming next from them. I think with these two mods, I'm finally going to be able to properly enjoy Conan Exiles. If you use these mods, please go and upvote the mods on the Steam page. That will hopefully help these modders out. They deserve it for the hard work they've done to make Code and Exiles enjoyable for necromancers like us. The only thing left to do is score the mods. I'm going to score them together because you need both of them to get a proper satisfying necromancy experience. I'm giving them a combined score of 9.8 out of 10. Better Frows works exactly as advertised and is a superb addition to Kono and Exiles. Magical Frows is absolutely fantastic it only loses one point on useful minions because of the rare occasion where a minion bugs out or whatever. Sometimes that happens and it's certainly blemish on an otherwise great thing. Thanks for watching and I hope this video has helped you find other games you can enjoy necromancy. I've got more necromancy videos coming your way. As always, links to the mods are in the video description.